Welcome to Mesa RC Phone Fire. This is me, Mr. Marshall. I got Ashton here with me. Uh, before uh, Christmas break, we uh, were getting hit by storm and or by the snow, and we really had nothing to do. So um, we thought, well, if Fly Test is making minis out of all their planes, then what would happen if we didn't have a jet, right? Mm -hmm. So here you have the actual size planes here, and then he went and did it with the Eagle, and then I went ahead and did it with the 35. So you can see the scale difference, and what do we scale it down to? This is 75% so of the original. Okay. It actually looked really, really cool. Yeah. Um, we did a couple test flights right before we left with your Eagle prototype. Yeah. And how'd it go? Uh, it went good. Just um, there were like it was a little bit uh, bouncy and it was a little choppy, but uh, that's all. And so I went back, and the first one we did, I had modified a few things. So I went back and just took the original, just exactly the original, scaled it all down. And I didn't modify any, anything on this one, so I think it'll do a little bit better. Now it's more of now it's structurally more, sound. Yeah, structurally sound like the the original was. And then for mine, I like I said, I just kept it seventy five percent and built it. Um, and then the only thing I did differently was and probably didn't even need to do it. Um, I just cut down this, the side belly pan piece, all the way down to the actual foam board itself. And I did a little bit of the same, except uh, that it's a bit of a weak, it's a little bit weak structurally because I don't have the same, it's not built quite the same as the 35 is, but so I just, I tried to keep the paper there for a little bit of yeah, strength. Yeah, but some tape or something too, my strength. Yeah, something. And I just carved out a little bit of the foam so that it can spin cool. nicely. And so we're using the, um, you're using a Sunny Sky, so same multi rotor setup for um, what we used with the 250 Quad Lux. Uh -huh. And then I'm using the exact same size motors, they're just different, different brands. This one's the Cobra 2300 KV, or 2200 KV, uh, with the 5x3 prop. Yep, the little mini props that we've been using on some of the quads. Sweet. And then our servos are just those little 6 gram nylon servos, is that what they are? Little yeah. SP60s. Just a little cheap stuff. We get it at um, at uh, Altu Hobbies, which is maybe they come with the kits. If you buy like um, the Fly Test Power Pack um, for the minis, you'll get that that type of servo. So we just bought two of those servos. Yep. And then um, yeah, other than that, the bills came out pretty cool. Yeah, it looks um, nice. I test drove this one before break, and it flew great. Except for the CG had to really go really go back. My the battery that we're using is a thirteen hundred. Um, same battery that we used for the, um, the, the multi rotors. But I had to move it way back. Mm -hmm. I'll, so, I'll be sure to I'll be sure to get a good range of Velcro so we can move wherever we might, right. wherever we might need to. Because we haven't test flown your newest model, right? No, we haven't. Okay. So yeah, so they're all built the same. It was actually quite fun, and we're not going to make these um, kits or anything available unless there's like a crazy demand for it. But I don't think we're going to do that. Um, what, we, what we're going to do though is we're obviously going to make the plans available, so we'll, I'll get your plans and then we'll get our plans just combined to minis um, so they can use. But um, let's go out in the backyard and test these bad boys out and right. see if, uh, if it's worthy for you guys to uh, do at home. Alright, sounds good. Cool. Full throttle. How you doing? I'm good. It actually wants to go up a little bit. Oh, okay. 
Maybe that battery moved back a little bit. Maybe. It's built for down good though. Keep it in front of us. Oh, these things fly awesome. Yeah. So we just got the Elevron, so we can't really roll it. I got low rates on. This is my own um, Yeah, you're on high. Okay. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> what you're doing. What? I'm just messing with them. How's yours feel? It feels good. It's a lot better than last time, huh? Yeah, it's a lot better. I wonder if it's just because of the wind. Maybe. It's not really windy at all today. <laughs> this thing flies like it's still on rails at 75%. It flies just like the original. Just It almost feels like it's like obviously lighter. Yeah. Speed run. Speed run. It's kind of, it's a little bit unstable. Almost underpowered. Underpowered? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine feels all right. I do wish I can go a little faster. But if the speed's good, just he's a little bit more mm, for staying up. Yeah, for yours, yeah, 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 I hear you. Uh, but I think the setup's perfect though. Yeah. Because if you if we were to make anything else, you know, we're doubling up foam board and I mean it's a pretty heavy plane for what we're trying to do with it. Uh-huh. But it's not like stalling on me. If, if I do a really tight turn, it will drop a little bit. Because I'm, you know, I'm stalling it, I'm getting losing some air. Mine feels almost on the edge of stalling. Kind of like constantly. Yeah, because I got you your elevator up because you got to move your battery back. Yeah. Oh, that's too cool. These look so cute. Oh, that's too cool. All right, you want to come in for landing? Yeah. All right, you go first. Just land on the snow and go out and get it. Let's see if you can get it close to us. Heads up, Ashen's landing. Watch Daniel in the back of his head. Oh, no that's way. Far. That's pretty good. All right, here we go. Heads up, Ashton. <laughs> All right, man. So, what'd you think? It was good. Uh, I just needed to. I think I need to move my battery a little bit. I think it was. Yeah, what direction is that? I'd say probably little, back. Yeah, a little back. So we can drop down your elevator so you're not always constantly losing that. Yeah. The airflow in the back. Um, yeah, like we said, I mean, we've got the same same uh, setup that you guys use for your mini quads. You know, with the Cobra, the little 5x3 or 6x3 prop. If you go 6x3, you're definitely going to have to cut open the holes a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, you're going to have to modify it. Which... But um, I, I think that for what we're doing here, and you got, you know, the double over foam board and stuff, I think it might be slightly underpowered. A little bit. Um, but, you know, for us, we're just wanting to have a time where we can actually fly together and not mm -hmm. have something that's so massive that if we crash it into something, it's going to be damaging. Yeah. Um, it's actually kind of cool to have something this small and it was quick to build. Yeah, it was super easy to build. And uh, they look cool. We are cool just to share the, the plans with you and, and kind of go from there. All right, cool. All right, good job, Ashton. Thanks.